Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. We're here in one of our testing rooms and this time we're taking a look at the new Anthem MRX 1120 AV receiver. The MRX 1120 retails for £3,999 and, as the name might suggest, it includes 11 channels of built-in amplification, which means that out of the box you can run a full 7.1.4 immersive audio setup. It includes support for Dolby Atmos and will be adding support for DTSX with a future firmware update. It also includes Anthem's ARC room correction software. So, without further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so what have we got? It looks like here. We have the instruction manuals in English and of course French. Um, for those who don't know, Anthem is a Canadian company, so everything's bilingual, everything's in English and French. We also have what looks like a remote control. Which it is. Um, it's a little bit plasticky, but uh, it's comfortable to hold. And I like the fact that it's relatively um, simply laid out, not too complicated. You know, you've got the volume control here navigation and select button in the middle um, you can do your inputs you know it, it basically has everything you would need for day-to-day -day control of the AV receiver without being overly complicated or daunting for uh, a new user you also have a flyer here about Spotify um, did like just about every other AV receiver these days there's Spotify built in you also have these are the aerials for the built-in uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. There's a small FM aerial for the built-in tuner. And then we have a little flyer here for Anthem, uh, AnthemAB.com support and also the batteries for the remote control. In here we have okay. basically a selection of different power cables. Obviously here's the one for the UK, but there's uh, one here and one here that's like a European one and um, not quite sure what country that is. Okay. Basically, UK power cable. Um, full kettle style plug as well. Okay, now we're moving on to the part of an Anthem AVR that I really, really like. And it's this. Most AVR, well, almost all AVRs will come with some sort of little setup microphone. But Anthem comes with a full, high quality, calibrated mic using with Anthem Room Correction, as you can see here. And not just that, there's a calibrated microphone, there's a tripod for putting the mic on, Cat5 cable and also a USB cable. Everything you need to do a full ARC calibration of your receiver. All you need to do basically is download the software onto your laptop, connect everything up, and then you can do a full ARC calibration. And I really, really like the fact that they go for this much trouble. This is a really nice touch in my opinion, and it's what distinguishes Anthem from the majority of the competition. Now we'll take the AVR itself out of the box and get a closer look at the front panel and the rear connections. As you can see, the front of the MRX 1120 uses a fairly standard AVR layout. Over here on the right, we have the volume dial. In the middle, we have the display. Underneath that, some basic control buttons, input, zone, level, mode, dim, and setup. 
Over here we have select and navigation up, down, left and right. Behind this little flap here, we have a headphone socket, an HDMI input that supports MHL and also a USB port. Uh, DTS X ready, Spotify and as I mentioned MHL. There's also a power button down here for the main AVR itself and also for a second zone. Of course it supports Anthem Room Correction, DTS PlayFi, DTS HD Master Audio and Dolby Atmos. Around the back we're glad to see that Anthem have taken a very simplified approach to their back panel layout. Um, they've eliminated a lot of the unnecessary legacy connections, particularly when it comes to video. And of course they're concentrating primarily on HDMI, which makes sense. So we have seven HDMI inputs here, plus the eighth one on the front. Um, this one over here supports MHL, and they all support HDCP 2.2 and HDMI 2.0a, which means that they can pass HDR metadata. And there are two HDMI outputs, the main one here which supports ARC, and a second one for a second zone. Then we have the speaker terminals here for the 11 channels of built-in amplification. And as you can see, they are color-coded. So that makes it easier for you to connect uh, your speakers to the speaker terminals with speaker cable. Over here, we have a, a LAN port for an Ethernet connection. Although, as you can see, there are two relatively large uh, aerials for the built-in Wi-Fi. There's also a USB port here, power connector over here. And then we have uh, analog inputs here and also some analog outputs. There's a connector for the FM aerial. There are three um, optical digital inputs and an optical digital output. There are also two coaxial digital inputs. There is an infrared in as a 12 volt trigger. And then there is an RS232 connector here for serial control. We also have uh, outputs for two subwoofers and all the outputs for the all the channels. So front, center, surround, surround back, front height, and rear height. And finally, here's the tripod, the Ethernet cable, the USB cable, and the calibrated microphone that comes included with the receiver. And that's it for our unboxing and first look at the Anthem MRX1120 11-channel AV receiver. Don't forget, you can read the full review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.